بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم my dear student I am engineer Hassan Khan assistant professor civil engineering department Sud Peshawar and I am here to teach you engineering hydrology for engineering hydrology the course code is CE314 as you can see in this introducing slide there are various pictures showing water it means that hydrology is a science deals with water this course is for one semester its credit hour is two units and this is a third level course mean you will study this course in sex semester if you have any question or suggestion about the lecture or any lecture you can contact me at hassan.7.edu.pk this lecture is about the introduction of this course course objectives CLOs of this course course assessment and teaching task etc of the course so let's start with the course objective the engineering hydrology has two objectives number one is to develop understanding among students about the basic concept of water cycle hydrology meteorology importance of hydrology measurement and collection of hydrological parameter such as precipitation evaporation evapotranspiration infiltration runoff stream flow these all are the hydrological parameters and the second objective of this course is to provide students with knowledge needed for planning water resources projects such as water supply for irrigation for drainage fisheries livestock etc and also to import knowledge on how to investigate the total quantity of water that can be available from the drainage basin on long term basis the course learning outcomes of engineering hydrology is four the number one course learning outcome CLO is to explain theories and concepts of surface and subsurface hydrology and apply these concepts to water resources and their management the second CLO is to measure various parameter of hydrology and water resources for production of floods CLO third is to clarify and debate key components of hydrology such as meteorology stream flow hydrographs and flood routing etc the fourth one CLO is to demonstrate solutions for various hydrological problems using any computer application we usually use computer application of Microsoft Excel all these course learning outcome will be covered throughout this course we will try to cover these three outcomes in the first half up to the midterm and in the final we will cover all these four CLOs and shall the teaching and learning activities for engineering hydrologies are as shown below we will cover this course by in class activities by video presentation by reading assignments classroom discussion homework assignments there will be a midterm examination in the ninth week and then final examination in 18th week of your semester we will solve some examples in classroom 
maybe we take a viva voice or interview in the final term examination the uh, comes to the assessment task uh, actually every subject has 100 percent marks the 100 percent marks of this subject is uh, distributed among three activities a 25 percentage is given to your midterm examination 50 percent will be your final term examination and 25 percent marks will be given to your sessional marks which include quizzes homework assignments etc etc the course contents are the key syllabus of this subject consist of eight chapters in the first chapter is about introduction of hydrology in which we will explain discuss hydrological cycle what is water balance equation what are the practical uses of or importance of hydrology in the second chapter is related to meteorology meteorology is actually the study of atmosphere we will discuss what is what do you, what do you mean by atmosphere what are its components what is relative humidity what is dew point temperature what are leaps rates adiabatic changes wind direction and velocity etc etc the third chapter is very important and this is about precipitation in this chapter we will discuss what is precipitation what are its different types what are its different forms how a precipitation form how precipitation can be measured how we will present a precipitation data and how we will compute an average rainfall over any area the fourth chapter is about evaporation and transpiration in this chapter we will discuss what is evaporation what is transpiration what is what are the differences between these two and what are the major factor affecting evaporation and transpiration and what is known by evapotranspiration fifth chapter is about stream flow in this chapter we will discuss stream flow what is stream flow what is water gauge how a stream flow can be measured how the velocity of a river can be measured and how finally a discharge can be determined from velocity and area method the chapter number six is about runoff in hydrograph in which we will discuss mainly factor affecting runoff and then uh, define a hydrograph a unit hydrograph and then finally conversion of a hydrograph to a unit hydrograph through the use of s curve and similarly conversion of a unit hydrograph to a total runoff hydrograph these conversion are actually used for determination of maximum probable runoff or maximum probable discharge which is known as flood chapter number seven is about stream flow routing in which uh, we will discuss what are floods and what are their causes what is frequency and duration analysis reservoir routing channel routing flood control etc etc the last chapter of this subject is about computer application and in this chapter we will discuss how to develop an excel sheet for any hydrological calculation now let's come to the recommended textbooks in any reading references for this subjects uh, there are uh, four books I mentioned for you however I am usually following this sub, um, book engineering hydrology third edition by Keso Barmania other three books you can use 
but these are the reference books the first one is a required book and I, I, I have already uploaded this book in uh, PDF form on the portal dot so dot edu dot pk also you can take help from class notes and powerpoint presentation and this video presentation this was all about the first lecture or the introduction of the course thank you very much you can ask any question any suggestion are welcome by hassan dot seven eight suit dot edu dot pk thank you once again